Now you're going to see some 50s here and maybe from this pair coming up the fire ice team right there that's Jay Payne the Valvoline car comes into this number two in the points he's got two national events still to claim Man, a very solid 562 in the opening round Man, 561 to qualify and Roger Bateman of that team is a, a guy right there Ken Murray was inducted into the Division 5 Hall of Fame when we were out in Denver just last week and he was out racing so he wasn't there to get his trophy but congratulations to Ken. Jay Payne with an opportunity rather to pick up two trophies this weekend. Yep because they had a rain delayed Woodburn race he came in here and won that race over Brian Fields wife Shelley watches on but Jay better watch out because Roger Bateman and that team have been stepping up their level of performance on every pass down the racetrack this weekend and they can run with Jay. Jay's in trouble. Give that one to Roger Bateman. Check out those numbers. Five, 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 256 miles an hour. A stunning run for Bateman. So what happens when you have a Hall of Fame crew chief, that is a career best number for Roger Bateman, 555. I told you that he can run with that Jay Payne. He runs just about 257 miles an hour. And for a team that to use the, uh, the poker term, the kind of just limped in to the uh, program by getting in on the last qualifying run, boy, that was solid. Jay runs another 562 almost 259 miles an hour and that was just a marvelous performance by Roger Bateman he wins that one going away well it was Steve Gasparilli though that set the table and Julie Stebb and he kind of showed us what was going to be out there today